XLF on the daily chart. Price is trading below that 200 moving average on the daily. Back on the 21st, I review some financial stocks. First one, let's go through this Goldman Sachs. Taking a quick look at this chart. This is back on the 65 minute chart. I'm gonna go to Goldman real quick. You can see we definitely had that follow through to the downside since that 21st. The other chart that we looked at was JP Morgan. This is on a daily chart. Back it was trading around 152. Taking a quick look at JPM. Flipping back out on the daily chart. So it went from 152 all the way back down to 129. There's a lot of weakness coming through the markets right now. And we want to look for the next pullback. For JPM, I'm looking for a retracement back to the upside. I have a three price relationship right around 147. If I can take it to the downside for the next leg down, I'm not saying I'm definitely going to get this. I'm kind of just planning several steps ahead. Taking a quick look at some other banking stocks. Bank of America on the daily chart, also trading below that 200 moving average. Okay, Wells Fargo, same thing over here as well. And these are the formations of potential short setups. Markets, when they enter into a bearish market, they first have to get weakness below that 200 moving average. And from there, a series of lower highs and lower lows to the downside. If you like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.